All right, what's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. So, apparently, Irv Gotti also said about Nas that he told Nas he wanted him to stop making conscious music and make more ignorant gutter music. Now, he said it on this podcast here. Hold on, I'm going to play the clip. I said a hip hop record. You could put. It. Oh, hold me go right here. No, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell written, you what. It was written. He started thinking. No, no, it was written when he was on some fly shit. Look, I don't like it. Didn't I just say that? That's personal opinion. Because well, God's his best. Well, when did he become a superstar? Straight up, shit is real. Every day he could be your last. He was a superstar. Come on, man. Viral with the world. Hey, hey, hey. It's an anticipation for him. Listen, 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 listen. listen, listen. And see, I give Nas the same thing I give Dre. Dr. Dre, I said to Dre, Dre once, I said, Dre, do you know why you could put out the chronic 10 years later and still serve niggas? Because we don't do what you do, nigga. When's the last time you heard a gangster album? The Chronic 2001. So if he comes out and him and Snoop and fucking all those old gangster things, <laughs> if they make a record and Dr. Dre makes it, it's going to be that gangster shit that we missing. And I said to Nas the same thing. Niggas don't give that motherfucking pissing in the elevator music like you. The army jacket Nas is legendary. The Ava Rex Nas, no different, bro. Hey, Esco, the firm like the Esco Bar era, the yeah, Esco Bar era. You're losing mad points. No, 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 no. You're losing mad points with me, man. Esco Bar, Esco, bro, Esco. Esco, I don't Esco. I don't different. want the fly, <laughs> nigga. I want the fucking ignorant. I went to hell for snuffing Jesus, nigga. That's me. Who the fuck says that? When I was 12, I went to hell for snuffing Jesus. First of all, for you to think that. That's crazy. You're fucking a lunatic. You know? <laughs> but wait, he wait. expanded on it on the later things. He says, y'all don't believe in none of this shit. Your facts is backwards. So yeah. this wait. nigga's a... He was waving automatic guns at nuns. Like, come on, man. Like, come that's... On. It'll matter. I mean, I'm glad Herb came to say that. For Major Look may be the best hip-hop record. He has the best hip hop album and the best hip hop single. The best hip hop record might be Major Look. Better than If I Rule the World? I, if I Rule the World isn't even in the fucking. It isn't even in the fucking <laughs> sen the sentence. It isn't on the list. What sort of. What sort if of. I, rule the world, <laughs> I said a hip hop record. You could have put If I Rule. And Lauren the bit. Listen. Great record. Immortal, iconic. It ain't on a fucking list as the greatest hip hop. If record. he does, a, if he does a verses, that's his last song. That's his last song. Give a fuck about verses, nigga. I'm talking about. I said hip hop. It is his last like, song. It's his last song. If I said hip hop, I said Major Look might be the best hip hop record. Major record. Major Look is was our theme song. Our theme song. That was it's our, actually the intro. That's our, our show. intro to the show. Well, that's dope. Okay, I see what he's trying to say. Basically, he was saying what a lot of people were saying before. He wants Nas to go back to making that good of music. But that's not going to happen. Because for one, Nas is damn near 50 years. It's, it's, it's in his 50s almost. Why you? He can't go back to that stage of where he was saying that wild stuff at the age of 17. I mean, come on, man. Then on top of that, he went ahead and said it was written. He didn't really feel it was written was like a gutter out, but it was written. If anything, it had some. It was it was gutter, man. It would have more storytelling. You had, I gave you power. I had it had suspect live nigga rap. I don't even know what Irv talk about. Irv bugging. Irv Gotti is bugging. But. I understand if he won, like, he probably would have, what was it? He went and listened to God's Son, because this was around the time Nas was hanging with them. Probably heard I Know I Can and all those type of records, and Earl was like, nah, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear more Made You Look. So the, apparently he's probably talking about that period where he was around him doing 2002. 
Because that was when he was also working on God's son. That's what I'm thinking. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button, peace.